Hi, welcome to Yoga with Tim and your daily mobility routine. Could be done in the morning, which is probably the best time to do it so you get it out of the way and you get your body moving well, but you can practice this at any time of the day. So let's get started lying down on the side. <clears throat> so the first mobility exercise that we're gonna do is side lying shoulder mobility and T-spine mobility. So you're gonna stack up your legs at a 90 degree angle. 90 with the shins, 90 with the femur in relationship to the torso. Interlock your hands behind your head. Now as you exhale, let your elbows come towards each other so that you're opening up the space in between the shoulder blades. Feel the stretch there. Then reach your left outer hip bone down so that your obliques engage a little bit. And as you inhale, roll your shoulder open, twist. Exhale, bring the elbows back towards each other. Send all the air out. And as you inhale, press that left outer hip. As you exhale, connect your rib cage to your pelvis. Feel it move in and down towards the hips. And as you inhale, maintain that alignment through your twist. And exhale. Let's bust out a few on the other side now. So now you can see from the back what it looks like. Stack up your legs, interlock your hands, other index finger on top this time. And as you exhale, the elbows come in. Press the outer hip bone as you inhale, roll open. Exhale, roll in. Inhale, twist open. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And come up from there. And this next exercise can be done on blocks or a chair or a couch. Ideal height would be a chair or a couch. I got these blocks handy, so I'm gonna use the blocks. But you're gonna drop your elbows shoulder distance apart, bring your hands to a prayer position. Now important when you're doing this exercise that you don't let your middle drop. Instead, you wanna lift the rib cage up away from the ground and connect it to the pelvis. That was that cue I was giving before. Keep the buttock flesh rolled towards the backs of the knees instead of letting it flare up. So sit bones connect down. Now maintaining that, you're gonna slowly start to stretch back and you'll feel where your rib cage wants to fall. Just go to that position and then come back over your shoulders as you exhale. Inhale. And exhale, keep moving with your breath. And we're gonna go for six rounds. Next exercise, move the blocks to the side, plant your hands and slide your right foot up to the outside of your right hand. So now we're gonna to start to integrate the hips along with our shoulders and T-spine. As you exhale, slide the back of the right shoulder down the inside of the knee. And as you inhale, spin up. Bring your hand down, change legs. Right knee goes back, 
Left leg goes forward. Exhale to slide down. Inhale to twist up. And keep going now. We'll complete six rounds. So notice how I'm practicing moving slow and controlled so that I'm improving my mobility. As opposed to just flinging the body through space. Notice as you go through the repetitions, how you start to move with more freedom and ease. Last one. <clears throat> now from here, ground down to your left heel and upright yourself. Smooth the buttock towards the back of the knee, rib cage in. Raise your right arm up. As you exhale, bend the elbow like a cactus arm. So not only are you pulling down, but you're pressing back with your hand to activate your external rotators to help to open up your chest. Then as you inhale, reach up and side bend. Exhale, pull back to cactus position. Do this four more times. And then change legs. Bring the left foot back, right leg forward. Reach your left arm up. And then as you exhale, pull into cactus. Pull down, rib cage in, press the hand back. As you inhale, reach up, buttock flesh in and down, reach down from your left hip and then side bend. Back to cactus. Four more times. Then release that. And if you can sit back onto your heels without it bothering your knees, you'll practice that. Otherwise, stand on your knees. Take both arms into cactus. And as you exhale, bring the elbows in. Inhale, open up. Feel the freedom in your chest after having done the mobility exercises. Two more times. Now, if possible, curl the toes under and sit back on your heels. If you're not able to do that, you can take a block in between your, he in between your heels to sit on, or maybe even a couple of blocks. Then take your arms forward, pretend like you're holding a wide steering wheel, and roll your shoulder blades up by your ears, back, and down. Roll your shoulder blades forward, up, back, and down. Then change the direction. Pull back, up, forward, and down. Okay, you're gonna be really good at driving a big steering wheel car now. Place your hands down onto the ground. The hands under the shoulders, the knees under your hips. 
Tuck your buttocks and round through your spine, cat cow. Inhale, flip the sit bones up. Roll through the spine up into extension. Four more times, nice and smooth and slow with your breath. Make sure you exhale all there out. Then step your right foot up to your right thumb, upright your torso, hands to your right knee, smooth the left buttock flesh down, draw your navel in, and then start to stretch forward. Four more times. Now as you're doing this, it's not about how far you can go into your right leg because I can go into the deep ankle stretch here, but I've lost the connection of the back leg and we're trying to focus on this stretch here. So keep a little bit of tuck of your pelvis, belly in, ribs in, and then you can feel the stretch hopefully a little bit deeper. So it's a more subtle movement. Change sides. Good, now place your hands up onto a little bit of a lift, depending on your flexibility. If you're more open, you can go hands to the ground. But we're gonna start in this lunge position, rock the hips forward, and then scoot your left knee back enough so that you can bring your hips back and feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Rock forward. And rock back. Use your inhalation to expand and rock forward. On the out breath, stretch through the hamstrings. Change sides. Then come onto your hands and your knees, and let's practice a little bit of downward facing dog. So curl your toes under, reach your hips up and back, stretch back. Then one hand print at a time, walk your hands back to your feet and fold forward to the back of your mat. If your hamstrings are tighter, bend your knees so your pelvis can tip over. But after all that work we did, it might feel like you can straighten the legs and still get the pelvis to tip and the spine to release. Roll yourself up to stand. Do a couple of big arm circles. And 
you're done with your, mor- your morning or other times of day, mobility routine. I hope you enjoyed this routine. If you did, hit the like button, let me know. And if you'd like to see more mobility routines, also leave a comment below. Take a moment to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future uploads. And it's the best way to support the channel. Again, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.